all persons wishing to be heard will be called in the following order. And I will make note that this is being shown on Kushner Public Access Cable and, rec and uh, recorded for later broadcast. And let's go to our agenda. So the first item is minutes for approval from the meeting from two weeks ago. Motion to accept the mini minutes as submitted. September 8th. I'll second that. Okay. And I will add that I made a quick note to Joanne about one spelling change to be made, page two in the second paragraph, but that's that has no bearing on the notes about what happened at, at the meeting. I'm sure she'll correct that. So with that being said, um, I will do a roll call vote. Um, Heidi in favor? Yes. Everett in favor? Yes. Richard? Yes. And Ryan? Yes. And me, so that's unanimous. Thank you. Okay, next, I, we don't, I don't see anything for meeting mail. Is that correct, Merrily? Yes, that's correct. Okay, nothing under old business or new business. So our next item, we have a COC Richard Pacheco, 10 Blacksmith Drive, file number SE001-0507, a certificate of compliance was filed by Richard Pacheco for property located at 10 Blacksmith Drive, map five, lot 71. The applicant proposed to construct a single family dwelling, pool, deck, well, and landscaping within the 100 foot buffer zone to a bordering vegetated wetland. I don't believe there's anybody here to speak on behalf of this. Merrily, did you wanna make any comments? Based um, on what we did Saturday? I, I would suggest that you table it until he's finished with his landscape work. Yeah. So I will add for the record that the commission did a site visit to 10 Blacksmith Drive this past Saturday, the 19th of September. And in talking with the homeowner, since there is more work to be done, um, it was suggested to him that he put off requesting this certificate of compliance until the work is finished. He was responding to a notice about the fact that he had open an open order on his property and he wanted to close that up. But upon supplying more information for him, <coughs> excuse me, he um, he has asked that we table this as well. So I'll obtain a motion to table this until the COC comes back from Mr. Pacheco. So moved. Do we have a second? Second. There can be no further discussion on something like this. So do a roll call vote. Everett in favor? Yes. Mayor Heidi? Yes. Richard? Yes. Ryan? Yes. Same for me. That's unanimous. Thank you all. The next item is extension of an NOI, Costco, Deep Brook Estates, file number SE001-0523. A request for a three-year extension of the notice of intent was filed for John Costco on property no, known as Deep Brook Estates, map 17, lot 66 through 84, and map 18, lots 12R through U, 18, and 18F through G. The applicant is represented by Bob Rogers of GAF Engineering Incorporated. I know Mr. Rogers is here, so Mr. So Bob, the floor is yours. Uh, thank, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, so we had submitted a letter. Um, we submitted a letter on this, and um, basically, uh, due to the prior appeal of this project by the Cushion Board of Selectmen um, and the uh, private litigation, uh, the, no work has been able to proceed at this point. Um, the regulations allow for a, uh, a th up to three year extension um, and, and if needed more than more than one request. But um, so there's, there's nothing that has changed on this piece of property uh, since the issuance of the order of conditions and due to the litigation um, by the board of selectmen 
uh, as well as others, um, we're respectfully requesting an extension of the order of conditions. This will allow us to resolve things and, um, and it just pre prevents unnecessary work from the commission. Um, so, you know, we would ask that you would grant the extension. And just to verify, based in on the notes in our agenda, you're asking for a three-year extension, is that correct? That's correct. Three-year extension of the order of conditions. Okay. Merrily, any questions or comments for Mr. Rogers? Uh, no, I don't see any reason not to give him the extension. It's, it's, especially if it's tied up in court, that can take forever. <laughs> okay. Um, any questions from commission members? Um, no, engineer. not at this point, no. No. Okay. no. I will entertain a motion to extend the order of conditions for three years. Make that motion, Bob. A okay, motion by Everett. Do we have a second? I'll second. Okay, second by Heidi. Do a roll call vote. Everett? Yes, yes. for you. Heidi? Yes. Richard? Yes. Ryan? Yes. And that's a yes for me as well. That's unanimous. Thank, thank you all so much. We very much appreciate it. Welcome. Thank you. Bob. Thank you. You're welcome. Yep. Okay. Next item um, is the conservation and management permit for Wing Lane Solo Project. So the agent did send the um, paperwork, the 26 pages for the conservation restriction for 68 acre, or 61 acres out of the 80 plus on 88 wing lane with a little bit on the other side of the street at zero wing lane. And um, I know that the town would like to move on this. I've had a chance to read it. I don't have any questions. The questions I had as I was reading through, I went back to the early part of the document and found the answers that I needed. I don't know if anybody else has any questions or comments for the agent or for anybody else on the board. I went through it too, Bob. I didn't see anything that was really yeah. earth shaking. It's pretty much boilerplate stuff. Right. And the nice thing is it's, it's a good mix of habitats, both upland and wetland. That'll be of uh, co conservation benefit to the town and the species that live in town. Merrily, did you have any comments, questions, additions? Um, not really. I just like to say it's a beautiful piece of property. If we, one day we should take a walk out there on a site visit and see it. Right. I look. I look forward to, to uh, doing that. You know, today yeah, that's a good idea. Street and seeing more of it. Heidi, Richard, or Ryan, any questions or comments from you? No, not at this point. No, it's good to lock that up and you know. Protect it. Yeah. And I did see your, your email remark as well, Ryan, and thank you for that. I agree with that as well. Um, so with that being said, I will accept a motion to, I will entertain a motion to accept the conservation restriction for 88 wing lane and zero wing lane as proposed um, by the, the solo farm project. So moved. We have, a, we have second. a motion from Richard. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you, Everett, for the second. So we'll go in order again as you appear on my screen, Everett. Yes. Vote. Okay. Heidi? Yes. Richard? Yes. Ryan? Yes. And that's a yes for me as well. That's unanimous. And I know this will now be brought to the Board of Selectmen. Um, Next item is agent updates. Merrily, anything from you? Oh, I wanted to mention the fall conference because the, um, the way they're doing it is a whole week of, of you know, workshops and web webinars, basically. And um, they're pretty cheap. So if anybody's interested in either getting the fundamentals workshop under your belt or doing any of these other workshops, let me know and I'll make sure I get you registered. And for the record, that's the Massachusetts Association of Conservation Commission's fall conference. There is a conference in March and a conference in October, typically. You said that information early? 
I I did, but I will send it again. Okay. It's um, it it starts on October seventeenth, which is a Saturday. It goes Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, the twentieth and through the twenty second, and then it goes Saturday the twenty fourth. So, and the fundamental things are, um, both during the during the day on Saturday and at night during the week. Okay. So. Yeah, so they spread it out, and and as always, there's there's a good variety of options and topics. Yeah, some of them look pretty interesting. Yeah. So um, does any of the commission members have any business for the commission? I know that um, members of the commission, we have a subcommittee right. considering a bylaw for the town and we will try to meet either next Tuesday or the Tuesday following. So we'll, we'll get updates from that, both from um, Paul and then from Merrily as well. Okay. So that being said, seeing no, uh, I will note that the next meeting of this Conservation Commission is scheduled for Tuesday, October 13th at 6 p.m. also to be held via Zoom. And seeing no further business from the commission, I will entertain nope. a motion to adjourn. I'll make the motion we adjourn. Thank you, Everett. Motion from Everett. Do we have a second? Second. second from Ryan. Everett, how do you vote? Yes. Heidi? Yes. Ra Richard? Yes. Ryan? Yes. Thank you all. Meeting adjourned at 6.13 p.m. Mm -hmm.